All right, welcome out to Bristol Motor Speedway. An exciting day of racing. We're going to start by bringing in uh, my good friend, sports director Casey Getz, to talk about the Xfinity Series race. What a race it was. Oh, Heather, it was a little different this year, obviously. First of all, beautiful weather today, but the uh, Xfinity race, a bit different. We had the 250-lap heat races and then the 200-lap main event. You throw in $100,000 dash for the cash, and we had some great racing today. In the 200 lap main event, three drivers stood out above the rest of the field. 19 year old Eric Jones, he led the first quarter of the race, but here comes Kyle Larson in the 42. He makes the pass on the inside. Larson's lead lasted all of two laps. Kyle Busch in the 18 car passes Larson. Busch going for his fifth straight win in NASCAR's top three series. After a late caution, Larson was trying to hang on for the win, but young Eric Jones makes the pass. The two make some contact, but Jones keeps on going. In fact, Kyle Busch passes Larson for second place. Then on the final lap, Eric Jones holds off Kyle Busch to get his first Xfinity Series win in Bristol, and as a bonus, he wins the $100,000 dash for cash. Worked out perfect, you know, the, the, the holes opened up for us, and I was planning to go to the top in three and four when Kyle ran the middle and, and got a really good run through there and got to the outside of him, and, and just got up next to him and held him off from there, and it, it really couldn't have played out any better. One more lap. I don't know if we could have held off Kyle again, but uh, we, we weren't the best car today, but we got in the best situation possible and, uh, and got us a win. And Heather, he got a win against Kyle Larson and Kyle Busch, 19 years old. Eric Jones, a true rising star in NASCAR. Absolutely. I mean, anytime you can beat those two guys, it's impressive. Thanks, Casey. Yeah. All right. So also today, the KNN E Series ran the pit lane 125, and this was an exciting race, kind of sort of. A couple of red flags. Uh, Todd Gillen, we introduced him to you earlier in the week. He was trying to win his fourth straight KNN E Series start, looking to break the record with the win today. Also in the field, a couple of local drivers, Martin McClure Racing's Chad Fitchum and Caleb Holman looking to keep Gillen out of victory lane at their home track. And you know what? Fitchum basically stunk up the show. Between the two uh, cautions, one including a red flag, he pretty much led all the laps in this race and gives Eric McClure his very first victory as a team owner. Now, the big show is tomorrow. The Food City 500 here at the Bristol Motor Speedway tomorrow afternoon. And I hate to sound like a broken record, but if there is anyone more hot right now or any hotter right now than Joe Gibbs Racing, I would like to know who it is. Uh, all of their teams, including their affiliated team of Martin Truex Jr., was in the top eight of the final practice today, led by the 11 car of Denny Hamlin, which actually suffered some damage after an accident with Danica Patrick in practice number two. Carl Edwards was, the last, was won the last two cup races, and Matt Kenseth also starts tomorrow's race in the top five. Basically, it's pretty good to be at JGR right now. Uh, JGR is just just an amazing organization and they work really well together as a team they never quit quit working to make the cars better and and it shows up on race day both in the Xfinity series and in the, in the Sprint Cup series so it's just it's really fun to be driving this 19 count guest wave. Trevor Bain starts tomorrow's race in 10th, which brings us back out here to Bristol. Even as we speak, Jeff Gordon is being inducted into the Legends Plaza at the Bruton Smith Building, just at the top of the hill here. Now, one of our photographers, Tim Davis, is out there, and he's going to talk to Mr. Gordon, and we will hear from him coming up tonight at 10 and 11. So we hope that you will join us so you can hear what Gordon thinks about being a legend. That does it for sports. Chrissy and Chris will wrap things up after the break. Thank you.